Hey guys, welcome to our channel, before starting the video if you have not subscribed our channel till now then please subscribe it, and if you have not watched our previous videos then watch it, in this video, we will see how to use bootstrap and spring boot, before the start, anything let's run and see whatever we added till now it's working fine or not. See everything is working fine let's design a login page using bootstrap. We won't download CSS file for bootstrap we will use maven dependency. That's the beauty of spring boot. There are the dependencies available for CSS, javascript. Let's check the dependency for bootstrap CSS. Let's copy and paste it into Palm XML file. It's start downloading. Let's add Bootstrap CSS to login JSP page. Actually, if we are doing like this, it will solve so many problems. Like no CSS file is in a local directory then no path related problems. If you want to change version then change directly in the palm file. Let's refresh and see CSS added or not. The CSS file is not loading and this is happening because of spring security. We need to give access to use that path. Let's add required changes in spring security configuration file. We need to allow access CSS or JavaScript related files so need to add that matcher for those and permit all. Let's see bootstrap related default changes are happening or not. not loading but this time it's not redirecting to the login page, it's giving no mapping available, so better restart the server. Let's check now. See some UI changes are happening let's check CSS file is loading or not see it's coming. So we are able to access CSS file, let's start to design a login page. Let's create a professional interface for user login. We are using the class which provided by Twitter Bootstrap. If you open Bootstrap in JS file then you can see all class. We are going to design a professional login page so if you want you can use later. You will see after adding bootstrap CSS, 
how simple it is to design a beautiful login page. Basically, we use Bootstrap for responsive design. So responsive means this user interface you can open on any device. It looks perfect. This time we are focusing only on the web. Later we will see how simple it is to convert to mobile or tablet. Just need to use CSS classes in proper order. See it looks professional. Let's see after adding those changes it's working or not. See it's working. Let's add some more changes. See it look like much better than the previous one. Let's move login box in the center and try with some background color. Now I'm just adding in the same file later we will move in the proper CSS file. Background color changed let's try with some background image.
see background images coming let's try with some better image. See now it looks like a nice and beautiful login page. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you like this video, then please subscribe our channel.